Well guys, welcome back to my final day here in Candyland and indeed Sri Lanka as I'm due to depart for a mystery location that will be revealed in due course. Now, I'd come back downtown to the centre to check out the mall with good purpose to run a couple of errands before heading out tomorrow. And just as I got here, I looked up to the hill and I could see this huge white Buddha statue up there, signifying one of the temples that I've just yet to check out. And in so doing, look at what's going on down here. It looks like a huge food court or food street or something. Now, given that it's lunchtime and I was on the lookout for something to eat, why don't we head down to check it out see if we can pick up a bite and then make our way up to the big Buddha. You got good food? It looks very nice. I think I'll go and get some. Let's see what's on offer here. Oh, look at that. How I have missed my Nescafe in rupees. What is the name of this? Puri, Pani Puri. Okay, and then they've got like uh, roti wraps and things. Do I, do I order over there or I order here? Okay. I think we must order at the uh, at the individual stands. These must all be different sellers. How cool is this? You can see some of the more traditional foods here with the fried things. Wow, there's so much to choose from. These are a different kind of roti. I had this the other day. It's infused with different things. I had it in Gale. I forget the name now, but it's a different type. It's actually quite hard and crispy on the outside to soak up all of the gravy so it doesn't go soggy. We've got uh, jalebi that local kind of like donut looking bread which I've had also. Ah, but now we're talking, yes. We've got some kind of masala, egg those, you know, egg those. But look at those, uh, those roti pancakes there. They look really good. Okay, that's definitely a contender. Oh man, and my favorite, the desserts. Oh, I'm spot for choice. Right, let me decide what I'm gonna have and I will rejoin you when I made a decision. <laughs> this is gonna be a very long shot of me waffling about food otherwise. You know, I'm like at the best of times. Anyways. All right guys, so I've made my decisions after much deliberation and joined these wonderful people, these friendly locals around the table here to have my first taste of a couple of things actually. So I can't believe I made it this far into the trip without yet having a so-called hopper. This is one of the egg hoppers. As you can see, it's super crispy. Got some nice color to it. And it's served with a nice little bit of chili as well, which we'll be looking forward to. This is, I believe, vegetables inside and it's known or pronounced as Toza. Even though it looks like it says those in English, this is Toza, I've been informed. The topping, I think, has chili in. It is kind of spicy. But the texture and consistency of the Toza, as it's known, it's basically like a crepe, a savory crepe. You've got fresh, nutritious veggies in there. And plenty of sauce as well. Now, I guess I'll work my way through that a little bit later. I'm keen for my first taste of the legendary hopper. Mm. Oh, that's good, the chili. It's like a duvet, that's what I'm looking for, wrapping the egg up in there with the chili. Can see why this is so popular. The crispy bits make it really nice as well on the edge. They've got some really good food here, certainly a solid lunch, which we'll enjoy, and then we'll head down, run a couple of errands, and make our way up to the big Buddha statue. Right, I best get to work. All right, lunch was absolutely popping, or should that be? Hopping as we had hoppers. <laughs> Anyways, back to the serious business. Now, I'm entering the market. I've just come down from the food court, which is apparently a government initiative employing local women who might otherwise be, I don't know, in, uh, in need. So that's kind of cool. Definitely worth checking out when you're here. It is pure veg, but anyways, I can go with that protein for a little while. On that note, I now need to get my shirt repaired and shorts, get the button sewed on because of the food that I've been eating. Too much food, maybe too much protein. Maybe this is a good thing to be back on pure veg. So I've been popping buttons off right, left and center with the morning workouts. Let's see if we can find ourselves an honest seamstress around here. Hello, sir. How are you? Nice to meet you. Thank you. Can you do repairs, buttons? 
You do sewing, I show you. Okay, let me uh, let me get my bag. Hey, brother, how are you? Let me get my bag and show him the uh, the shirt. Maybe he can hopefully help me out. I have the buttons as well with me. This has been uh, this has been bugging me for a couple of weeks now. I haven't been able to wear it. Hey, brother, can you help me with sewing buttons on here? Help me with the pairs. He looks very experienced. You've been doing this a long buttons. time, my friend. Buttons. Yes. Buttons. I gave you the one for this. Go buttoning. This one. Look, I gave you it. Okay. I gave you it. He's uh, maybe a little forgetful. I showed him that a second ago. I've been looking to get this done ever since I was on the beach in Chennai on my first day. Back on old Marina Beach. When I was asking those ladies if they could sew the bag, I forgot the buttons and I forgot to bring the shirt with me. So. Hopefully we're going to get things fixed here. You can see they've got the proper equipment here with the full sewing machine. Various like little shears as well. Very specialist gear. The big scissors. And here we go. We've got the black thread as well coming out for the shirt. This is as seen in Bali on many a night. And I think in Tokyo we might have worn this one. So there you go guys. You can see him marking up the spaces where the buttons will go with the chalk and then my friend here is helping me out with the shorts at the same time do you do lots of weddings here yeah lots of celebrations same. custom suits yeah oh beautiful weddings you have some really nice things we are going for rent yeah for, uh, to rent higher yeah, yeah, yeah rent. for higher interesting this one is really cool you won some awards yeah yeah yes. is this are, mr you. olympia <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one oh, the, the, this how uh, I have one more shop uh, over there that ah. people and normal people get to uh, cricket. Uh, oh, cricket. cricket you went yeah, to your yeah. cricket. Okay. This yeah. I was just saying, I tournament. noticed the trophies. This is a play of the tournament. Play of the tournament. That yeah. was you? Cricket. No, cricket. You. Ah, okay. I was going to say, <laughs> you're in good shape. <laughs> you are a very patient man, my, my friend. <laughs> it must take so much patience to just concentrate like that and do the buttons. I don't know how he does it. But my, my shorts are ready in the background. There's just obviously one button to get back on there. And we're making good progress here. I think we're down to the last button. It's looking good. After we've got this sorted, hopefully in a couple of minutes now, I think the guy's nearly done. We'll settle up. And then just around the corner there, I've seen a place where I can get a haircut. So I'm gonna get a quick fade before then heading up towards the temple. And then the admin will be complete. My errands will have been run and I'll be ready for my flight out of here tomorrow onto the next month's adventure in a new country. <sighs> the suspense. Let me see the front. Oh, look at that, that's perfect. Yeah. Super, thank you, my friend. You've done great. Oh, my shirt is like new, finally. All it needs now is washing because it stinks. I'm kidding, it's obviously fresh. But yeah, thank you, uh, thank you for your time. That's really kind. A moment ago, I asked how much it was and they said they didn't want anything. They're too kind. So I'm going to try again just to offer something because they've been generous with the time, even if it is only a bit of thread. So. Oh, wow. Thank you very much, my friend. That is so good. You've done a great job. Thank you, sir. Can I, how much? Is this enough to cover? I just give a little something. So you've done the shorts as well? Nothing? Nothing. Oh man, that's so kind. Can I buy you a drink, like a tea or something? Or bring you all a tea, a chai or? No, 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 no. no? you don't want a chai? Or... No, anything. You are happy or you are so happy. All right, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Guys, thank you so much, my friend. If you're in town and you need some repairs doing, or indeed you want to hire something, or maybe even get something made for a special occasion. The shop here, the guys have looked after me, are at Waduj Taylor's here in Candy Market. So, my friend, thank you so much. Thank you, Captain. Let's get this bagged up and I'll make my way just around the corner to the barber's, which is literally just upstairs. No, thank you, sir. I have a nice shirt here. Courtesy of Waduj Taylor's. We've got the best view in town. Stepping out over the balcony here. You can see the Buddha. Where we'll be going immediately after this. So, without further ado, 
let's try and get a quick fade before we head up there. That's the main event. So, we get sorted out in here. See if we've got a seat. <laughs> I'm in the very capable hands of my good barber. As you can see, this place is so fresh. It's got to be one of the nicest shops that I've been in recently. However, as much as I'm enjoying the music, it does mean, unfortunately, that I'm not going to be able to upload this uh, bit. So, let's make this a before and after. So, here is the equipment. Here is the before. Ah! After. There we go guys. It's unfortunate that I couldn't record in there as the guys otherwise giving me a really good cut but for the music. It's the same old thing with bloody YouTube anyways. I now need to consult the map. It's getting rather grey up there. My goodness. I don't know that I necessarily want to be going up a, a monument in this weather if it's going to pee it down but anyways according to maps we need to be heading in that direction and then turning on the next left. I've actually come prepared this time for a temple. That's right, sir. I've come prepared for the temple. Although I may be in shorts currently, I have in my rather nifty bag of tricks, amongst my repaired shirt and shorts, also a little gem from my time on the Ha Giang Loop in Vietnam, which I didn't take you along for. I kept it uh, low key. And you're about to witness a $3 market trouser. Givenchy no less. Let's take a look at that guys. That's absolutely incredible. We've got a completely different perspective on candy with the local uh, villages or the local houses just on this side of the hill where the Buddha is. But it's really quite different. The other side of the hill as you can see is way more commercial with all the big hotels and guest houses. And obviously the bit in the very centre, I can see the cricket ground I think, but the bits around there are where of course like the markets and the tourists are. So I'm so glad that I've come up here. As much as those clouds are looking rather ominous in terms of there being rain while we're up here, I don't mind getting a bit wet. It's all good. Well, there the Buddha is, in all their glory. Wow, that is so impressive. It's absolutely huge, close up. Wow. <laughs> I don't know how much of this I can really capture, certainly inside anyway. I won't be able to uh, necessarily film, but just to give you a feel for the place here, we look to have maybe guest houses or something, I'm not sure. But it seems fairly chill. Just look at this view though. This is really what we came to see from the perspective of the Buddha. Looking down across Kandu, just check out the hills there. Do you dare me? Okay, let's take a little look around. This is obviously super peaceful and it is a place of worship ultimately so we need to keep that in mind and be considerate if anybody wants me to stop filming however with that said there is also a gift shop so here you can see one two three four is it seven seven different statues which tend to see uh, various different uh, temples around the world i'm not sure what each of them represent but let me know in the comments if indeed you are Buddhist or you have a better knowledge of Buddhism than I do. And then this wonderful tree in the centre, guarded by these ornate railings in gold. Let's see if we can take a look a little bit closer. It's actually quite wet as I'm walking around in my bare feet and the, uh, the tree has just been watered so I don't think I'll take a walk around. It's about time we get out of here. I'm gonna have muddy feet. That's what shoes were invented for, right? Well guys, here we are. Indeed, we can climb to the top. Hello. Hi. Look at where we are. Right behind the Buddha's head. What a view. 
you can see absolutely everything from here all the way of course over the lake the center of the town the hills and hotels there and on the other side it's even more impressive this is going to be the most scenic side you just seem to have hill after hill after hill like cascading so so beautiful I think it reminds me a bit of the sunset that I saw on the first night in Udaipur we went up to Monsoon Palace which is by far one of the most beautiful that I've seen and whilst it's not quite as sunny now we are approaching sunset and under the Buddha's gaze have a really peaceful view really cool All right, guys, we have seen the mighty Buddha up close and also the best view of Kandy, without doubt. And just on the way in, I was reading the little piece of paper that they gave you with a bit of a description about the origins of Buddha for a lay person like me. And apparently, he was born into a noble and wealthy family and gave it all up for a life of endurance, of suffering. And in some ways, <laughs> I can relate to that. Anyways, signing off from what is my final day in not only Kandy but also Sri Lanka before heading to the next country, which remains a surprise. Nothing else for me to say other than see you all in the next video.